Hello and welcome to episode 65 of our Midlands map. We are sat at a brand new guest station. Today I'm racing against the storm front that is to the to the uh, west of us right now. Timing should be about perfect. Let's hope so. Anyhow, what we got to do today? We have to fix those express lines that we put in. I put brake cars on and they're a bit slow. So we're going to do that. Um, this one, I've tried to be a little a little more on the kind side for this station. I was a bit mean with the last one, trying to obscure its identity. So good luck with this one. Hopefully, we have a, we have a winner and a new, uh, new station master to claim the keys to this station. Split station. There we go. There's a nice little clue for you. Not many trains down here at the moment. I'm not sure whether there ever will be. There's a lot of people waiting for the train though. That's lovely to see. What else are we doing today? We're going to extend the cross city line north uh, towards Litchfield. We'll get as far as we can. And uh, we'll keep an eye on everything else. So there we go. Bit of a pack show. Bulldozer is going to be uh, very busy today. And uh, we'll, we'll try and get the official episode smoothing in at some point too. Right then. Shame there was no train. We can't stay here all day though. Here we are then back at Bletchley. Now there's been uh, lots of discussion about how we best achieve the three trains for Bletchley. And I must admit it would be nice to have uh, a couple of the express trains pass through Bletchley. Not sure about it. I've got an idea. We're not going to do it today. But I've got an idea for the end. Uh, it's been suggested before and that is change this from the zigzag at the end to uh, the spiral station. There's like a special spiral station that will hang off the edge of the map. The The trains would then go through here, uh, do a loop around and then head back up. We'd have to figure out some sort of crossover. We, we've probably got enough space to do that. Um, it's going to be a busy station regardless. Is that our southern service? Why are you going that way? Is that right? Yeah, that's right. That That's kind of a little shuttle. It's not really a little shuttle. It uh, it goes all the way to Croydon. <laughs> it's the opposite to a shuttle. It goes the other side of London. So, with that in mind, shall we, uh, shall we prepare our trains? Also, the express service, not the sleeper, we might have that stopping at Milton Keynes if we can achieve this. There is, uh, it, it, it's a varied service. It would be nice to have Milton Keynes as its stop. Does it stop at Milton? I can't remember where it stops at. Is this the one? This is the sleeper. Because it's got the, the, uh, the flying Scotsman on the front. Let's, let's already do a replacement. I feel like the, the Scotsman is the way to go anyhow. There, we got, we got the Scotsman. Let's add you back on. Now, we're going to have to be careful with our wagons because um, the brake car, as I mentioned at the beginning of the episode, is uh, limited to 60, so we didn't get to see. In fact, we could we could bring this back up and pause it quickly because we might as well see if we can get up to speed once we put the passenger wagons on. Now, where's that brake car? Of course, it's a Suburban, meaning it's a, a stopping service and there's that speed limit. We have these on, which do 100, which is ideal. They do 80, so they're good enough for now as well. Uh, but none of the brake... Oh, we have brake car here. Okay, that does 95. And considering our speed limit... There we go, we can have brake cars on. We're, we're good. We're good. So we'll we'll rebuild the train, as was. Uh, but we'll put, uh, we'll put some... Uh, how long was it? We'll put some brake cars on that can actually keep up with the train... Now, that's the full length. How many cars is that? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, actually. Vehicles. It's nine. So that is going to have ten cars on it. Um, I wonder if we can have a brake car at the front and the rear then. That might be an idea. Mix it up a bit. Make it look a bit more patchwork. So we'll take those two off. And then we'll put a rear and a front. Obviously, we'll bring this to the 
front. We'll just have them that colour, I think, as well. Is that the front one? Yeah, that's the front one. I mean, it mixes it up a little bit. We could have it in the middle, but why not put it at the front like that? Let's replace that now, and we'll, we'll see how that does. And we'll do the same with a mallard. I know, it's an East Coast mainline train. I saw the comments, and I agree, but our stretch of the East Coast mainline isn't in, and by the time it goes in, and it's not very long either, it seems a bit of a waste for the mallard. We might put the mallard somewhere else though, on a nice little museum line. We'll see how the A5, the A5, the Flying Scotsman is the A3. We'll see how the A3 does with uh, its new, new coaches. They're not going to be blue. That's okay. We could have made them blue. We this will take a while to sort out, if ever. So this is the one that stops at, uh, I believe, stops at Bletchley, right? I think they both stop at Bletchley. And they both stop at Atherstone at the moment. They're, they're going to branch off eventually. And we're heading up that way where they branch off. Right, so you're coming in there. You're going to change into your new outfit. I mean, it's a bit of fun to see a bit of trains action as well at the beginning. This shuttle kind of keeps it nice and busy down here, which is lovely. And it might get people using the two stations to go further afield. There, we've got the brake car on. I like that. Yeah, that's, that's lovely. Let's have a look at your details now. Mediocre. You do get up to 95 miles an hour, that's beautiful. And he might actually do it. Should we get on board? See if we can pick up some speed. It was... <laughs> Look at that next stop. Heading for Atherston. From Bletchley. I mean, you could stop at Bletchley anyway. It could, uh, could be a change of crew, like I said before. Uh, the, the scenery around here is starting to, to build up quite nicely. I think we're going to have a, a beautiful looking area. Very built up. Once we get the buses over there running as well. So we're heading through Milton Keynes on our way. I want to see. We're, we're on our way to the. Uh, to I couldn't remember this last last episode. Oh, I put a bush too close to the track. Never mind. We'll fix it. Uh, he heading to the cutting road cutting. There we go. Took me about as long last time, didn't it? I've got a cup of tea. That's not why we're on this, but I do have a cup of tea. Now, we only got to 60 before. I'll be interested to see how quickly we're going through. Well, we're only going to go through at 60, aren't we? But it will be nice if we ever do any trains at for uh, this station here. To see the, uh, the trains come flying through on that inside track will be the outside track possibly well now we're doing 65 you see so what sort of speed are we going to get at going through the cutting and rugby would be nice to see what sort of speed we get more virgin trains there's been some news we should talk about this while we're doing the train ride that's the real reason we're doing it and that is Urban Games made a little announcement. I'm a little bit late for the news because I'd already, or, already, I can't get my teeth in today, already recorded uh, the episode for Thursday when the news was announced. Right, I can't remember what it was. Was it Wednesday? I think it was. But uh, yes, new game announcement on the 24th of this month. Anybody excited for that? I know I am. I'm super excited. It looks good, the screenshot. I'm pretty impressed with that. See, we're not going to get past 75, you plonker. Track limit. <laughs> oh, there goes the mallard. Hello, mallard. So lovely. We can do maximum speed at the moment through the cutting. Um, once we get to the diesel era, era, this is all... I don't know why I can't say era the first time. Second time, always get it. So beautiful. That'll work. We might as well stay on board. Uh, why we took... Ah, oh, another tree. Front of these trains are going to have, like, leaves all over them. Yeah, so, uh, I'll be keeping my ear to the ground for the uh, news, and I'll be 
no doubt discussing that with another cab ride on this map uh, once we once we know what uh, urban games have to say about their their big project I wonder if it will be out this year as well uh, if anything is uh, to go by from their past past uh, releases then yes it should be out this year at some time probably after the summer heading into the probably the fourth quarter more than likely the fourth quarter it could be earlier who knows if we if we set our sights for the fourth quarter and it's and it's earlier then that's a good thing but yes i'm looking forward to that I'm really looking forward to that right then that that's that news out of the way there's been some other news that i'm not 100 percent sure about and that's that virgin is losing a lot of its contracts around the uk including these ones but i'm not sure on that i don't know the full news um yeah, that's a that's an interesting stagecoach lost a lot of uh, or have been banned, I believe. So there's going to be a lot of iconic trains, oh, the Virgin colours. Some people are happy about it. I don't know whether anybody's unhappy about it. Um, who knows? Right, so that's working. We're now doing 75. We're going to go through this tunnel, and then after that, we're going to be I would like to see it. Would we like to see it go through rugby? I think we might as well. We got most of the way here, didn't we? Might as well go for the cool bit. There goes the London North Western service. Heading for... That's the Express London North Western service. It should be going to Milton Keynes and skipping... Can't remember the other name. I can't remember the small station we went through. So if we ever get to guess the station on there, I won't get it right either. We will do some building today. We will extend the line. We're, we're not far into the episode. I did want to get that news about the about the new game coming out, though. or at least the announcement. The game we don't know when the, the release date is. Obviously, I tell you what, this is looking the part now. We just need some fields on the left, and we're good. And that will be uh, cab ride territory. We need a lot of fields going the other way. There's been a lot of bulldozing, so that's what you see in the big stutters. The, the, the AI is rebuilding the disaster area that I created. Well, do you know, we're coming through it here at a lovely speed. And I think I did... We did sort the uh, crossover, didn't we? We might fly through... We might fly through rugby. Do you know, let's, let's pause that then. Instead of being on board, this is a good time for a for a look isn't it we did say we wanted to see trains come hurtling through rugby now does it come hurtling through rope yes look at that i love it there we go that's going to be excellent once it's busier so you do go through at a decent clip look at you go That's about spot on, isn't it? And look at that. You've got a train coming over the top. A freight train. And away away our sleeper goes to Atherston. For now, it won't stop at Atherston eventually. You can see Coventry's ground there in the, in the distance. I don't know whether you would actually see that, even on a really clear day from rugby. And there goes our big old freight train. Look at him struggling. I love it. Just what a freight train should do. What you got on board? Anything? Nothing. You're off to pick up some stuff from here. Okay. That's enough of that. Uh, it's it, it's kind of swapping between... Oh, that's there's the food train now. You just took nearly a full load. That's amazing. I don't know. Oh, yes. We do know, don't we? Um, it gets backed up here. We might have to have a third route here delivering some food but that's all right yeah oh this that reminds me i wanted to fix this now the reason it does this we might be able to uh, we might be able to see this at the risk of it breaking well no never mind uh these signals 
These tr uh, and these trains, these trains are too long and these signals are too close because they slightly overextend. Given this is a terminus station, uh, if we uh, upgrade this, uh, it's 200 meters long. We could probably make it a touch longer. I love that sound. But these trains are... Where does it tell you the, the length of the train? Here, 206. Which would just be slightly too... This one might be alright. But these ones here, we're going to have to get rid of. Not get rid of completely. We're just going to move them down. In fact, we can move them all down. Uh, this one's going to be a bit... A bit iffy because they, they join up quite close. So what I might do, the risk of breaking everything, is have that join in a little later, just so it looks better. Not like that. Bit of impromptu building out this way. But it doesn't need to be quick, does it? If we can have that closer to this junction, perhaps. Uh, that's the closest we can get. Can you do it? Just a little too much. We just start from here first then. Come out. And we'll just get you there. That gives us a bit more room to put signals in at this end. And then we'll get... Uh, we'll move all our signals along in unison along this line. Which should give us actual um, signal. In fact, this one could be up here, couldn't it? Yes, that one could be up there. There we go. Because when they flip, their nose sticks over the edge of the, the platform there. Which will, will go through the signal, and these signals are just pointless then. There we go. Right, let's see how that does later on. We'll make sure that these trains haven't all swapped platforms. They have. Well, one of them has. We're going to move you. We're going to move one of them. Uh, let's go to terminals. You uh, tools. Which side do we want tools? Probably that side. We'll have the food on on P1. There we go. We've got a full full array there. Every platform used. We'll we'll come back and check on that uh, once we've done some building. Brilliant. Right then, over we go and prepare for some bulldozing. These guys have all built up quite nicely and they're about to get destroyed. Okay, so we all know Spaghetti Junction. That would be somewhere around here uh, with the M6. Where's the M6 going to come through and like go around that way? And it go, we go under it or through it. It's going to take a bit of work to get that happening. And we're, go we're going to have to improvise a little bit on how this works as well. We're going to go with smaller stations. You can see the M6 there is starting to head towards Gravelly Hill and then up. Is it called the Gravelly Hill Interchange? I saw Julie Fisher mention that. And I was like, Gravelly Hill Interchange, what is that? I hope there's, I'm not missing any track here. But I believe that's the actual name for, that would be the actual name for Spaghetti Junction. Uh, we're going to get rid of that for a start. That's where Gravelly Hill is. And we can get rid of all of these broken bits. And there you see, look at them all. Look at them all sneaking in. There's one there as well. That's Witten. Brilliant. So that's a good start. Now where is... We want to be about level with it. Probably here. And we're going to be raised up for one. And we're going to be in a cutting for this one. Now given that the only crossover we have is around here somewhere. We, we can improvise a little bit. All this hard work is going to be undone. We're going straight through here. It has to be done. Because you can't just leave the cross city line out. I mean, we're going to lose a lot of fine work by the AI. We're going to do the station first. A little different to how I normally do it. Normally we uh, do the track layout and then the station. So I want a bit of room. We should be alright. We shouldn't be getting rid of everything. This should be... Uh, we need to find a... A residence. Actually, we can just click on Gravelly Hill, can't we? Uh, we have 33, 18, 87. Erdington, we're good there. We've got lots of... Because they grew out quite a bit. Same with Witten. That's lovely. Uh, we're going to have to smooth this out a touch. We don't want it like that. Uh, it's going to be interesting trying to recreate the junction. We're not blessed with 
the best road tools in the world. We're going to make smaller stations. They're going to be stationless versions of these. Uh, they're going to have... They are two lines. They're going to be... I'm, I'm going to say 140 because this area of the cross city line, or well, most of the cross city line for that matter, has... It, it kind of almost seems like it could be a tram service the stations are all quite close we're going to skip chester road just there and then we'll go then we'll go up to wild green that way we're going to be on this side of erdington and gravelly hill and we're gonna we're gonna like snake around up there and get that all working 140 seems about right this is about what we have here isn't it yeah there are 140 that is brilliant well, let's get rid of all the rubbish on here. Well, it's not rubbish, it's useful. But uh, it, it, it's superfluous for our needs. We're going to have no... I don't know where that word came from, guys. Just did. We're going to have none. So we are going to need uh, the middle one to be... I'm going to say both surface. Like that. Now, in order to get the cutting, we're going to have to open and close this again. Do we want fence? I would, would you know, we could, couldn't we? It's, uh, we could have just white or green, given, given where we are. A and B, just little green fences on there will do us quite nicely. Uh, we're going to be, oh, I've got to do this again. We're going to be lowering the station like this to force our cutting. We don't want it too aggressive, but we do want it in there. And we're going to be sat about there. Now the reason we can do this is because there's no junctions. Uh, crossovers or anything. So we don't mind about gradual gradient. There is a, a curious one just here. Can't remember which way it goes across. But there's something like that going on. Uh, I, it might be for... Not so much for services turning around here. Although they might. More for uh, breakdowns or repair or maintenance or getting them to switch tracks. So we'll have that in. We won't need a signal that side, but we will need one that side and it'll be one way. There we go. So far, so good. You're like, Grand, you've not done anything. Of course it's so far, so good. Okay, we, we get in there. Uh, as long as we can get this cutting in, we don't mind it slow there because uh, we are pretty much, like I said at the beginning, a metro service. Could almost be uh, <laughs> an underground service. It does remind me of some of the trains in London. Uh, this will be all flat. We don't want that too crazy. Now, Erdington, we're going to have to swing round. Probably gone at a bit of a wrong angle there, in fact. Let's, get, let's try that again. We'll bring all that back up. Right, so if we go up there, that might be better for us. And still head down. Want to make it easy to get some bridges across. We're going to go there. It's not on much of a curve, although for us, we might need to put it on a curve. We'll put it there. I think that's uh, that, that does the job. We'll bring this back again. And we'll create the turning. Yep, third is fine. I mean, what, the un London Underground probably only runs at 40 around most of it. We'll connect these up quickly for now, just so it uh, doesn't complain all the way through. We're probably not going to get much detailing done. Now, Erdington is going to be the... They're all going to be the same stations. And we'll do our detailing later on. Uh, you're kind of in the way there. In fact, you are in the way there. Get rid of these rocks as well. It's going to be nice, isn't it, to have the cross city line finally getting through. Erdington's going to be level. Where are we? We're going to need to head to Wild Green eventually. We need this one. I mean, they are close together. You'll see why we can't have... So we're probably going to have to start turning sooner. Uh, are we? Yeah, I would like to start turning sooner. Wild Green's going to be raised a little. That's why we're skipping Chester... What is it called? Chester Road, I believe. There's a there, there's another station. Would be, well, almost where Erdington is. And then Wild Green, we're going to be 
kind of up this way. We're heading a bit further north, and then we've got Sutton Coalfield, you see. So we, we, we kind of ran out of room a little bit, and we're heading that way. But it's it's a, it's all right. It's all right. Was we looking north? That's what might have been throwing me. We wasn't, was we? After all that. Not even close. Yeah, that's a bit aggressive. That's why that's not working. Although, no. I don't mind it, to be honest. I think we get the gist of it. Now, wild green. Are we going to get this in? I hope so. Wild green's kind of raised up a little bit. So we're going to do similar to what we did before, but we're going to raise you up a touch. Look at all these new guest stations going in. We're going to do the opposite to this one. We're going to take it up to about there so that bridges are not too difficult. And considering how close we are to Sutton Coalfield already, that has me a little worried. If we go there, we should be all right. If we go there. Yeah, we're a bit close. It's all right. Should be able to do that. We want this bit to go straight. The bridges. And we'll keep that bit straight as well and head slightly off to Sutton Coalfield. We can move Sutton Coalfield slightly north. I think we'll be all right there. And uh, that's where we need a bridge here. I believe there's a bridge there. So if we go like that, uh, we, we can see how much of a tunnel we need to make. Oh, yeah. That's just going to straight up do it, isn't it? Uh, probably doesn't need to be that much then. If we go in like that then. Will that just work as a bridge? I mean, it'd be great, right? Oh, it'd be beautiful. Unbelievable. I'll take it. Absolutely take it. Straight in. Look at that. Unbelievable. In fact, do you know, I always leave this till the last minute. Let's not, for a change. Let's actually do the, uh, the proper thing and put them all in. There we go. Lovely. Get you in there. And, uh, what? You want to be the other side? Get you in there. There we go. Beautiful. You're in straight away. It's a bit high, but I don't mind. I really don't mind. I don't know where these roads actually go, so for now, we're just going to hook you up there. And we're going to connect those up. Eventually, I'm a bit worried about how much is left here. We're just going to hook these up like that without too much worry. There we go. Everything's in. It's not going to be the finished product, but it's it's all in at least. Now, there'll be some slopes and stuff, and there'll be trees around here. I would say that's quite accurate. Uh, we shouldn't have too much of a slope here. Let's have a look. That's quite gradual. We could shift N and M just to level it out a little bit but it all depends what it looks like there no that's fine there we go we, we leveled out the slope touch and we'll get that in so now we have three new stations in we need to work on the roads we might go to Sutton Coalfield then we could get the uh the gist of it couldn't we before we start detailing and moving roads around we haven't got much of the cutting unfortunately that's all right we don't mind if I keep smoothing it too much, we won't have any. There are trees down here. So let's remind ourselves of that. Like trees and bushes down here. Going through North Birmingham. And along the station as well. Uh, once you get to cab ride territory, it should give us the feel of this area. Yeah, I like that. We might have to do something... Uh, on the outside stop the AI getting too close I think the only thing we need to well we could get a fence we could just get a fence uh, a nice wooden fence so we'll go with stockade um, we can just have that running along here hopefully the AI won't be encouraged to go past there and then with that we'll use the bushes tool here I know I have it overgrown just poking through the fence there we go no building there, Mr. AI, if you don't mind. Lovely. Uh, we could do the same on the other side. Do we Do we like it? I think we do. I do. 
Uh, I don't know what I'm doing with this just yet. I wonder if the new game will have uh, better terraforming. Official episode, by the way. <laughs> like an hour ago, I think. Not an hour ago. Oh, we're halfway through. Look at that timing. Halfway through, and I've got everything I had planned done. <laughs> that was actually quicker than I thought. I I honestly thought that uh, we, we were behind schedule. And I would be wrapping up right now. That's pleasant. Right, let's stop you from building too close to the track here. Because you make silly mountains. I don't want those in there. You're going to go up to there for now. There we go. Just a, a bit of a bit of safety fence to stop people trespassing on the railways, which you should not do. As everybody should know. For your own safety. There we go. Lovely. So that will be Erdi Erdington. Just there. But that... No, that is Gravelly Hill, you plonker. That's the only one in a cutting. Never mind. It, it named it right. And it's named that one right. And have you named this one right? Yes, you have. So, we could get Sutton Coalfield in then. Boom. Which is interesting because that is the crossover point for this bit of track here. Goes over the top. Meaning we might be in a bit of a cutting there too. Or is that raised up? This might actually be raised up instead. Okay, so that's a perfect time to save that. Oh, I'm impressed. Alright, halfway save done. We're, we've got an interest, interesting bit then for Sutton Coalfield. We might need to move where it is slightly. I would also like to get in four oaks, as that used to be four platforms by the looking on the map. Uh, it only looks like two of them are used, possibly three, but uh, definitely not the fourth, or as far as I could tell anyway. Now, Sutton Coalfield is going to be a tricky one for us. It is a curve station, that's for sure, and quite an aggressive curve too. And we kind of do uh, a, a roundy a roundy bit. Yes, we do a curve coming out of uh, the other end of Sutton Cove, the north side of it. So how do we best represent this? I guess we just put a, a good curve on it. That one about does it. Our best bet for this is going to be sunken. Because our other station goes over the... Our other, not station, our other track goes over the top. And there is a tunnel. So we want to kind of go under there, actually. But we don't have much in the way. We're going to have to move where we put this. We're going to be a little further north, which means we're going to push four oaks a little further north. We're going to miss I want one of the streets, but the street maybe, and, and have another one there. Um... This is unfortunate. I didn't put Shenfield in. We can shift everything further north and make use of the towns we do have. I mean, we could always bring Shenfield further down. Or we can have it as like... I don't know. I don't know. Well, I'll, I'll think of that. We can, we can put nothing in there for now. We'll keep this going down. I want to really go underneath. Ideally. Uh, so, we head somewhere like, we're going to go, I know you're building, but unlucky. We go somewhere like here, and drop it down. Uh, as long as we're kind of, kind of in the right place. Oh, possibly there. Yeah, we need to get rid of that too. We're going to rebuild it, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry Sutton Coalfield you will be rebuilt it's not actually this far down but in order to make the next bit easier after it this is probably our best bet right if we go there and we put you in there because we've got to come down quite sharpish here but is, is it as sharp oh it is quite steep isn't it it is quite steep that's a little too steep. Maybe we don't need this bit. I don't know if there's a bridge after it. 
But stuff like that can be done afterwards. Now that's still super steep. We might have to bring this up a touch. Let's get that. We'll put it in here and we'll knock it up just a couple. Because we could we can do some terraforming to get the tunnel working. I mean, I don't mind it. No, actually, it's it's not really as bad as it looks down here. I guess it's just the, the way you're sat there and the fact all the scenery doesn't really promote what's going on. What we'd need to do is once all the trees are in there, see if you start getting rid of some of this and balancing it down and then you have like all the trees and bushes along the side as there are, you probably won't notice quite as bad. Oh, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? If we put them in, I mean, it's not going to take too long to check. I did check on the storm front. It, it seems to have stalled, stalled out a little bit, which is, which is good news. So if we bring this in here. Move that just a touch. I don't know what we're doing with it yet. We've got to make some... We're, we're kind of in the middle of the town, so there'll be a lot of roads here and built up stuff. I can see that. We don't want oak trees. Oh, that reminds me. We've got to get rid of some stuff, haven't we? Some trees. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a bit exaggerated. But I think our trains can manage it. Because here, I want to get the tunnel in, if possible. Which we, we should be able to do. We should be able to do. Let's see if we can get the tunnel going. We're going to continue heading round. I would imagine every train stops here. It doesn't matter on the speed. Let's uh, knock that back now that we've got the flat bit. Let's get our flattening raising tool. This one. If we spin that around a touch and raise it up and we make the edges... Is that the one? No, we want it to go the other way, don't we? Yeah, make it less of a less of a slope. You see, we got we're going down. That's that's better. So if we knock that up a touch, as long as we can get that initial tunnel done, it will be good. There you go. There you go. Get in there. We're going to be heading that way first. Now that you're in, because then we're heading this way, and we'll have that's about right. That tunnel and we'll head that way like so we're going to be yeah in order to do this it looks like we've got to got to do a lot more anyway and go a bit further around 45 should do us on this speed track we'll go around that way instead we'll actually use this as intended so we can get the town doing its uh raising up and such and uh it's, it looks quite hilly lots of uh elevation change for the town itself we just need the kind of street going through the middle. It's a bit bigger than that, but we're kind of limited. Gently smooth it out. Because eventually, I want it to be part of the town around here. Part of Sutton Coalfield. I know it looks a bit aggressive at the moment. And then, here we've got another train track coming across. I want to know whether it's about the right... Ooh, almost. Uh, not that up a touch. This one is kind of raised. So if we go something like that. Head around that way. We're almost there. We might be able to get that working. If we get this down either side. Where the bridge is going to be. We might be able to force it to put its feet down. Oh that's too close. That's not where you want to be. Alright. Go around here instead. Just go like that so it can put its feet down. Then we can hide it with uh, brickwork. Like that. And we'll have you like that. Beautiful. And then you're going to be heading down towards there. Go so through this bit of town. Like that. I'd like to keep you straight. Because you are sort of raised up a little bit. It, it curves around a bit more than that. Thinking about it. We, we've got enough room to play with. So we can uh, make the nice curve. There we go. That's better. Oh, not that. There's a lot of official episode today, isn't there? That's nice. Get all that smoothing done. 
There we go. You're heading off down to here. This is, is going to be coming through and connecting up. So that itself is looking about right. I'll bring this up, make it not look as obvious. And we'll have the main road going through the middle. Actually, we want to kind of do it from here. Give them just enough room to build either side, hopefully. And then we can cover that up. Uh, we'll get proper roads done for it at some point. But for now, like I say, I like to just hook them up and get them in. This line is going to continue off that way. In fact, we might be able to go a bit higher with it. That'll just make it easier anyway. Ooh, no. No. We're going off that way. You just go like that, and then we'll work on that at some other point. Now then, which one are we having here? We're coming round like that. We can probably start heading up now. Get rid of that. I know it looks a bit silly. It kind of does this, though. So we need it there. Then we'll have one of our... And our next station will just be here. There we go. All right. No, I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm absolutely happy with that. Cross city line. All the way to Sutton Coalfield. Not detailed yet, but it's in. And uh, this kind of heads up and meets that road. Not that one, that'd be excessive. So if we pull it up to about there, it'll almost be in the right place, as is. Now there's a station building just here. I know. We, we do need to work on that. Now, Four Oaks is the one I want to get in. Which we should be able to do. If we have Four Oaks as the main one just here, I think we're good. This I want to go flat because we're coming up to the station. And there is going to be, I believe there's going to be a, some junctions going on. So we do need that flat. And this is going to be Four Oaks. Way higher than it should be. We're just going to go like that. This platform here isn't used. Uh, this outside one. We might be able to just cover it with uh, ballast or something. It's a shame we can't just upgrade that piece of track. I like it though. That would be four oaks. We put that in there and we'll start to build some streets back. They're not right, obviously. But uh, they'll look the part eventually if I can get this one working go down there don't know what we're making there it looks like a tooth almost right you're in lovely we have four oaks in we have Sutton Coldfield in uh, we were possibly going to miss Shenfield although I don't know because that's a long way to go to uh, Litchfield actually we don't have long left do we uh, this bit as I said, we can hide a little bit. It won't quite be that bad. Uh, we can hide that with uh, what we did earlier and put these in, hopefully, just to round it off quite nicely. Spin that around. Hopefully they don't go over the track. All right. Yep, I like it. Oh, you absolute plonker. Why did you do that? I like it, and then proceeds to bulldoze it, and then doesn't remember where everything is. Good job. I, I thought it was going too well. Uh, that's the wrong. That's the wrong way around now. You want to be there. There we go. Do you go over the track? You kind of do. Now it's in the wrong place. Ooh, do you know me? There. Is that better? Now don't bulldoze it. Oh, I had my fingers slightly wrong. On the keys. You don't normally see this uh, when I do this. This is what I end up doing when I when I head round the tracks. I I just tidy things up in places. So we're just going to have it like that. We're going to have it. Uh, I always put it about four, I think. Then D, and that gives you look the perfect width. We're going to raise it to seven, so it goes over the top of the other things, and we're just going to slide that in like that and that tidies up all this nastiness here 
and makes me happy and makes it look rather nice. Then you can do some like cool stuff along this edge with uh, perhaps things like, well, I mean, you could even do that, but that's not what we want. We want to be using the, the fences and we'll reset all the things. If we use that one, it doesn't look too bad. There we go, perfect. There we go, we're in. Doesn't look too bad, the little gap, just for railings. Bit, bit of scenery, isn't it? Lovely, especially for cab rides. I do like it. Need little phone boxes on the side of the track and stuff. Emergency phone boxes. There you go. Look, look at that. That's how quickly you can just, like, throw something together. Get it uh, detailed a little bit. Wasn't planned. Any of this was. None of this was planned. I got that in way too quick. Right. I don't know whether there are trees here, but we'll just put them in anyhow. And it, it makes it more, more enclosed. You've got the little tunnel now going through there. We're going to cover all this up somehow. And it, it should look a little better then. I get carried away with bushes though, I'll tell you that much. Can't be doing this for too long because we've got to... Uh, we've got to put the trains going down this way. There we go, I like that. We'll have the trees lower down so you can... When you're on the cab ride, you kind of look over the top of the trees at that point. Go down here. So we put them off to the side of the track. So when you're up here, you can kind of see the see the odd thing. No, we don't want that. Be too big, oak tree. He's just too big. There we go. Odd bit of tree line and into the station, and then the strange downy bit into Sutton Coalfield through the tunnel, round the curve into Four Oaks. This track does does still connect. I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, so that makes me think that this bit goes like that. It really does. And it might even... It might even go like this. I'm not sure. I will look that up though and put it properly. But for now, that's just a bit of guesswork. That's as far as we're going today. We have four oaks. We went as far as four oaks. We got how many stations? One, two, three, four, five stations, including four oaks. All the numbers. We'll end it then uh, by complete, uh, extending, finally, the cross city line. As the train is pulling in, thank you. And you are no longer stopping at, where do you stop currently? Aston. That's no longer your last stop, sir. Yeah, then you continue that way. Oh, hang on. Then you continue that way. Yes. Then this way. Then that way. Then you're in there. And then you're in there. Beautiful. Which would um, is ideal that we've got that in. And then you're coming back this way. There we go. Look at how many stops we've got now on the cross city line. That is beautiful. Uh, we're not signalled up, so let's do that. I forgot about the signals every time. We'll put those in, if I can remember how. Goodness me. One way, yes, please. We'll have a short one, just there. We'll have another short one here. They are short trains. I don't want to put too many in, but... We'll put them in at the, at the junction-y part, at least. And then we'll have one there. One there, separated. One there. Uh, I'd like to put signals off of bridges. Don't ask. I don't like my train sat on on bridges. See, we're going to put some... Ah, we could do that now, couldn't we? Exactly what we did on the other one. We're going to go with that concrete. for. Oh, let's go with some brick for this one. Since it's big enough. That's close enough. Then we go with uh, D. That should do us. And then raise the height and we're done. And we'll put you in there. Like so. And then we hide all of that. There we go. Doesn't that look tidier? I like it. Probably do a bit more work on there. Put some uh, railings along the sides. That is lovely. Let's put some more signals in. We're not done. That's not where you get signals from. One there. Uh, we'll have short couple here. Perfect. 
and one entering one leaving I do like it so far what do you reckon guys are you excited for a little more a little more variety on our cross city line one blocking there and we'll have two way signals for now just here I like it and then we'll have one way there for now and there just to just to remind me what I'm doing I feel like this might rejoin in I mean I'm sure it did once upon a time that would be ballast I'm pretty sure this is ballast as well there we go we'll, we'll, we'll do something nice with that right did that sort the trains out automatically or did they get confused probably got confused all right should we play it then uh, since we did all that oh let's not play it until we've checked on the what the trains are doing shall we uh, the cross city line let's bring up the line list uh, only what we can see cross city you're going to need more trains than that aren't you yeah you're not going to do that right at all uh, you're going to do all that right what you're not going to do is any of these right because uh, the later stop you need to be on the second terminal there we go is that right I think you're doing your you're doing the business now brilliant brilliant and then oh what did I click on there there we go dragged it off perfect we, you're going to need more trains. Absolutely going to need more trains. We'll bring a couple more out the depot. What are we using? These were just recently changed, weren't they? Um, does that mean they have replacements? They do. What train is it? It's the Midland Railway 483 class. So what we're going to do is... How many, how many stops do we have on this? On the Cross City... 23 stops for four trains. Maybe... What's going on down here? Why are you doing that? Did I, I don't think I actually did anything with that. I kind of put the grass in and then left it. Doesn't look very nice, does it? Can we, uh, can we not? There we go. Just put anything in there, really. The trees and stuff will do. To not make that look as terrible. There we go. Doesn't take much, Grand. Lazy. Get in there. There we go. Uh, yeah, that looks better. Right, uh, where's our depot? We need to get onto, onto this line here, so that's not going to work for us. Well, it, uh, no, it won't. Which one will work for us then? Now, that won't work for us either. This one will. This, oh, we haven't had a train out of this depot in forever. We're going to pu pull out some trains. The Midland 486 class, was it? Is it? That's the Fury. Where's the 486? Patriot. Ooh. Do you know? 2P. Is it not called that? The Crab. There it is. No, that's a compound. There you are. Goodness me. You do 50 miles an hour. That's nice. We'll leave you that colour. Is that Killer Kansas? Midland Railway. Possibly. Ooh, do you know what I didn't look at? Uh, what the carriages were. Good job. I bet you were saying, weren't you? And you might want to see what the uh, what carriages are on there. What are you? They are GWR Top Light. With a brake car. Perfect. That's these ones, isn't it? GWR top light. Cross city line colours. One. Two. With a rear brake car. Probably excessive. That gives them a four car. Technically with the loco. And. Then. How many? Should we double that? Should we put another four on? I think so. Two, three, four. Set line all. Cross city line. Hopefully they find their way there. Well, they will because they just... Oh, I like that sound. 
So then, we have a brand new Cross City line. We'll catch um, one of our other Cross City trains coming into... Well, it's been a, a while since we've gone this way. Where is our nearest Cross City train? You're miles away. I was hoping for a closer one. Uh, do we have one? Is that Cross City? Nope. Are you Cross City? Yes, perfect timing. Ooh, the lag. That has been episode 65, guys. We have put in five new stations, added four new trains, and four oaks. All the numbers. <laughs> I'm impressed with the amount of work we got done. We've also got our express trains running much faster. We have plans for turning around trains after Bletchley, and we will give that a ago the uh, special spiral station which is available on the workshop for anybody with this map you could give it a go yourself before before Thursday's episode we'll always we'll always try that something new um, if I start at the beginning of the episode then if it crashes then we've not lost anything that, that'll be good I enjoyed that. I'm looking forward to the news coming up in a couple of weeks from Urban Games about their their new game. And looking at the screenshot, it looks very promising to be a a new iteration of the Fever, be it train or transport family. Ooh, bit laggy as everything builds back up, no doubt, from where we destroyed it. Oh, that was a bit bumpy. Ooh, don't like that. Going to fix that at some point. Probably in between episodes. I'll leave you with a little journey. We're now not stopping at... Well, we are stopping at Aston, but we don't don't turn round at Aston. We uh, turn round at Four Oaks, which is amazing. Lots of detailing to do down that way. I guess then on Thursday we'll, we'll finish off and head to Litchfield. I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be a big change. And we'll connect up our uh, Sutton line thing down to uh, that bit of track that we have heading off towards Leicester and uh, Nuneaton. Brilliant. Yes. So join me on Thursday. We'll do all that. And I'll leave you uh, with this uh, lovely Cross City train doing an, an extraordinarily long route now, which is beautiful. So until next time, Take care.